Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over Google Ads prospecting. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for Google Ads that are being ran currently and where we could come in and add some value because a lot of times businesses themselves are running the ads and they are sending them straight to the home page of their websites. They don't have a landing page set up and so everything is going to the website and not converting as well as it should. And then we also want to make sure that they have the proper conversion tracking because believe it or not, some businesses are running Google ads and they don't really know what they're doing. They don't have the conversion tracking. They don't have Google Analytics set up or even the remarketing tag. So we wanna make sure to see if they have those in place and if not, then they're going to be great candidates for us because if they don't have that on the website, they're not tracking the conversions, they're not tracking the data and they're most likely doing everything themselves. Okay, so let's come in here and type in fencing contractor. So we see here that there's a first one at the top and what you want to do is pay attention to the very bottom left of this screen here. You're going to see if this is going to a website or a landing page. And you'll see at the very bottom left here, you'll see townandcountryfence.net. So most likely uh, this particular company here is running the ads themselves because they don't have a landing page set up here. Everything is just going to the home page and they're just showing that particular searcher everything that they offer versus having a very precise landing page that talks about fencing, right? Obviously, Home Advisor here is the large player. This one here, if you can see at the bottom lower left-hand side, they most likely have a landing page because they have uh, forward slash fencing and then forward slash contractor. Let's go ahead and click on this one here to see what they got set up here. So this one is going to the home page. Now, right from the get go, you'll notice that there's so much stuff going on here. There is clearly no call to action. There is so much to be distracted with here. I mean, you have your whole menu up here. You have all these pictures. You're talking about uh, fencing. All this stuff is great and all, but it's not doing anything for the searcher. The searcher wants to get a quote. They want to get information about building a fence and so this business is dropping the ball here because they would be getting a lot higher quality leads if this was just a landing page talking about the different types of fences and for them to get a quote right this is one of the biggest things that you'll notice when a lot of these businesses are running ads themselves they don't have the proper landing page set up because a landing page should have just the logo up here it should have maybe a picture in the background and then a big call to action or a big button here or an opt-in box that says get your free quote here right because we want as little resistance as possible for that individual searcher so let's go up here and check this out here see what they got so they have google analytics they don't even have google tag manager which means they're, they're not even tracking the conversions, the leads that are coming in. So this is a great candidate here, right? To be able to target back over here now and see if we can find, this one here looks like a lead generation type of website. I'm sure it is here because they have the, let's go back, off.offer, it's on a subdomain. Now we can obviously tell this is a lead generation website and then they have a local number up here. And so this is how it should look. This is how a landing page should look for individual searchers that are looking for fencing contractors, right? We want to just have simple stuff up here, the phone number, maybe a logo, and get your free quote, your call to action, right? Boom, right here. This is exactly how it should be set up instead of just sending people to uh, the homepage. So yeah, these guys obviously know what they're doing here. Uh, looks to be like a, a national lead gen site. So we're obviously not going to be targeting these guys. So then let's go now down here to the other ads. Let's see fence contractors. Let's check this one out here. And this one right here, you can tell is actually quite bad. They have this request an appointment here at the very bottom when this should be right up here at the very top. And these are high value jobs to these businesses and they're just losing out on a ton of opportunities here because they don't have the right landing page right it's just going to i believe it's a home page let's go back looks like it is going just to the home page right here 
Yeah, so this is a huge problem here. This is a great candidate for us to target because it's not doing anything for the searcher. It's not providing them any value. This is a small little picture. It doesn't look very professional. And just think about it. As a searcher, when you land on this page here, it doesn't give you a very good impression of the quality of the business, right, of the work. And so you got to think about the online presence. Online websites are in direct proportion to the quality that the businesses provide. And that may not be all the time, but it's the perception that is built up um, whenever somebody's coming onto a website, right? Just think about going to any website. They can provide the best possible service in the world, best quality services, right? However, if their website doesn't reflect that, then they're going to lose a ton of business, ton of visitors, because the perception is reality, right? So let's go back over here and let's look at another one here. All About Fence Washington, WA. Again, this is another one here that is going just directly to the homepage. Let's check this one out. And let's actually go back over here. I want to verify if they have any tracking. So they just have Google Analytics. So another thing that we can point out uh, to this particular business, they're not tracking the conversions. They don't have any kind of remarketing tags. None of that. So let's go back here. This one actually isn't too bad. Uh, however, the pictures look to be low resolution. And right up here, there's got to be a box or some sort of call to action. Plus, there's a menu up here, right? This is obviously the home page. And they're dropping the ball here because everything is going to uh, the home page where people are you know, not filling in information. The opt-in box is way down here. And so there's a lot of opportunity here for you to contact this business and let them know that, hey, you guys are running ads and you're losing a ton of business because you're sending them to your homepage and it's not capturing as many leads as you should, right? And so when people are clicking here, they're dropping off. So then their quality score is going down, which makes sense as to why they're ranking low, right? So now let's check up here and see what they got. So they only have Google Analytics, right? So... Uh, great opportunity here for you to target this one as well. And then let's go and check out uh, this last one here. So allcityfence.com. Again, these guys are sending the traffic to the homepage. So you could tell that uh, these guys are doing it themselves. Typically, what you'll notice is that if somebody is running an ad here, right, a particular business, and there's a landing page set up, and they have the proper tagging, then that means that most likely they are working with an agency that has everything set up for them because an actual real agency is going to do all of that setup for them, right? It's going to have a very precise landing page with no distractions, just a simple call to action, right? That showcases the business and then has the right tracking in place, right? So let's go and check this guy here, All City Fence. And so these guys are going to the homepage this one at least has a call to action up here, but it does not look very good whatsoever. And then there's a distraction up here with the menu. Um, this is just complete distraction here. And I'm sure these guys do fantastic work because it uh, looks like some of their previous work here. Okay. And then let's go down here. So yeah, I mean, these guys are sending everything to the homepage. They're most likely losing out on a ton of opportunities because of sending the traffic to the homepage and by not having the right type of opt-in form here. So let's look up here, see what they have as far as the tracking. So these guys actually do have the tracking and for whatever reason, they have two remarketing tags and two of the tag managers. Now, this is just for your particular location, right? And you can type in like, let's say, fencing contractor Seattle. And what you'll find is the same type of businesses uh, that are showing up that you just typed in, right, are going to be popping up because it's location specific. Google's going to look at your location based on your IP and they're going to show you the most relevant searches. So what we can do if we're looking to target nationwide, which I highly recommend you don't just target your particular area. Yeah, you can start in your local area, but you can then branch out to different locations, different cities. So what you can do there is there's this tool here and it's called iSearchFrom.com. And what this does is it allows you to actually pull up all of those searches that are relevant to that location. So let's say I wanted to search fencing contractor Los Angeles. 
Okay, so we have Home Advisor up here, and we have this local one here that we just saw as well. And then this one right here is for Los Angeles. However, this one here is for Seattle. It's still picking up our location. So what we can do here is get this here, get this keyword, and then go over here, type that in right there, and go to US, okay? And then United States, okay? And obviously we wanna leave that to English device that's fine and then let's go down here city let's just get this here Los Angeles that's great so now let's go to search and so what this is going to show us now is the actual listings right that are showing up in Los Angeles so if we were searching from the Los Angeles location these are the actual listings that would pull up right so we can get an accurate depiction of what particular contractors are actually advertising in Los Angeles, right? We can see this one here. Obviously, this is Home Advisor. This one's Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles here as well. Uh, and then we go down here, Los Angeles as well. Let's go down here. We got Lowe's right there, Los Angeles, Southern California. Yep. So, now what we can do here is we can't actually click on these because this is just an example. We can go up here and we can type in off, okay? Up here you can see add test in the URL. So let's just flip this to off and then we can actually click on it because right now it's on and so it doesn't allow us to actually open up these in our browser. As far as if I wanted to open this up here, right? It wouldn't open up to the actual listing so what we want to do is go over here and where's that at go to off okay and then now it allow us to click on them so let's take a look at this one here and this one looks to be going to a landing page so let's just pop this one up here so it looks like this is going to a home page they just have the extension here los angeles fencing However, this is still something where there's a huge problem here because there's a menu over here, distractions. Um, this actually doesn't look the best. They should have this in the back over here kind of dark, right? So that this could pop out more. And they don't have a call to action. They have CR services, contact us. This is losing out on a ton of leads, right? Because why are people going to want to learn about the services or contact us when we're looking to capture people here that want to get a quote on a new fence, right? We don't want them to see our services. We don't want them to contact us. We want them to submit their information so that we can talk to them about their fencing project, right? And they don't have a opt-in form until way down here. So big, big opportunity on this one. Let's see what kind of tracking they got here. So they actually have the ads conversion tracking that's great the tag manager okay fantastic all right so let's go back and take a look at uh, another one here see if we can find fencing forward slash or fencing dash contractor dash network this looks to be like a lead generation company there so this is essentially one of the best ways for you to get started prospecting to uh, different prospects that are actually already doing AdWords themselves. And you want to look for the characteristics that I mentioned here, where it's going directly to the homepage. Okay. They don't have the proper conversion tracking. They don't have Google Analytics and they don't have a landing page. Now, the second way that we can come in here and look for viable companies is those that are on the second, third, fourth, fifth page, right? Because these guys are all at the top here. Uh, whenever somebody's typing in fencing contractor Los Angeles, these guys are all going to show up at the top, right? So let me go ahead and just type in fencing contractor and we'll leave it for uh, my location here. That's fine. And then we'll go down over here to the second page, okay? And so these guys, let me go back. These guys look to be fencing contractor right there and so then there's these guys right here that we checked out let's go page two town and country fence okay these guys are showing up up here again uh, let's go down here all about fence 
here's another one right here that we haven't checked out. So this is going directly to the home page here, alpinefenceco.com. Okay, let's go back up here. So another example here of what not to do, <laughs> right? Making sure that these guys have an actual landing page set up here. So the biggest thing here that you'll notice with prospecting with these particular businesses is that these guys are great at what they do as far as providing the best possible service and quality to their customers. They're just not tech savvy. And a lot of times these folks will try to do the ads themselves and just send people to their website and they won't know about landing page optimization, conversion tracking, and making sure that they're providing the best possible experience to the user, right? Because they think, hey, the more information, the better. Uh, however, us as digital marketers, we understand that less information is better for a landing page whenever we're getting people to uh, land on our particular landing page to take a specific action, right? This would be fantastic if they just moved this logo up here to the top and just had um, this picture right down here and then a box right here that said, uh, get your free quote now, right? Something super simple uh, that really gets people to take action. And I would even make this phone number up here bigger, right? Because if some people want to just call in and get a quote, hey, that works as well. And so they want to make sure that even the calls are being tracked, right? The calls are being recorded, uh, letting them know that the calls will be recorded for quality purposes. So there's a ton of value that you can provide to these businesses by helping them with their landing page optimization, making sure they have the right conversions. This one here looks to have five. So they have the site tag, remarketing, that's great, okay. Um, for some reason, they have this one here that's an error. They have two, well, three of the remarketing tags. So looks to be like an error here. I would contact this business here because even though they have this tracking here, uh, for whatever reason, they have three of the same and they have, you know, this one here that's an error. So this could easily be an opportunity here uh, for us to be able to reach out to this business. So now let's go back up here and let's look for a different contractor. So let's look for... Let's say kitchen remodel contractors. Okay, so we have, uh, this one looks to be like a nationwide, let's even call dot home care contractors. Yeah, this is more of a, a nationwide legion company. And then this one here, obviously home advisors is a large legion company as well. This one here, looks to be like a actual contractor. So let's pull this up here. Let's see about, are they in the Seattle, Washington area? We can just go back down here and look at that. 425. Okay. So it looks like these guys may have uh, the location here in the Seattle, Washington area. Uh, let's see if we can pull this up here. BBB. Okay, yeah, so these guys are local. So these guys basically have a you know decent looking website. However, again, they're missing the huge opportunity here with their landing page. They need to have something in here in the middle, right? Right when somebody lands here to get people to take action. This cannot be stressed enough for these businesses, right? Because just imagine if this is up here, right in here, right? how many more leads would they be receiving? So they're losing out on a ton of opportunities. Let's even see now if they have the tracking here. So, oh wow, these guys don't even have any tracking, right? So not even Google Analytics, uh, Google Tag Manager, conversions, none of that. So great opportunity here to target these guys. So let's go down here and look for another one. Okay, Kitchen, Everett. This looks to be going to, let's see here. I think this is more of a home page as well. Interiors by Jamie. Yeah, so this is a local guy here. And they are in Seattle. And this isn't too bad. Now, I like how they have the menu up here where it's just a brand. There's no uh, actual menu where there's like, hey, home, about, page, you know, services. Because that's all a distraction. And they have the click to call here. So that's great. However, they're missing on an opt-in box here. Okay, or a button that says click here or get your free quote now and then having like a pop up box 
uh, be able to gather that information, right? So this guy here could definitely improve uh, their landing page, even though they have the right idea up here with no menu. And then what kind of tracking do they have? Okay, so they have, actually they don't have any kind of Google Ads conversion tracking here. It says none. However, they do have Google Analytics. So this may be another opportunity here as well. So let's go to um, Home Remodel of Everett. Yeah, let's check these guys out here. Okay, so they just have their ad going to contact us. How enticing is this to a searcher, right? You are, let's go back over here and I want to walk through the entire searcher's journey, okay? So that you really get an understanding of what Google is trying to do here, right? They're trying to provide the best possible experience to the user. So if I'm John Smith, I got a family, I got a house, I'm looking to uh, remodel my kitchen. I come in here and I type in kitchen remodel contractors, right? The best type of landing page should be talking to me specifically about remodeling my kitchen, maybe some examples, and then telling me what to do to get a quote, right? Because obviously I want to get prices. I want to get quotes from different vendors. And if I just have a simple contact us form, that's not very enticing to me and it doesn't reflect what I'm searching for, right? It's not the best experience for me because I don't want to just go to a contact form. I want to be able to look at maybe some examples. I want to be able to submit my information. I want it to be a pleasant experience and a great user experience, right? So when I go down here and I click on this ad, right? And it just takes me to this contact page. It talks nothing about the fact that I'm looking for kitchen remodeling, right? Where is kitchen remodeling in here? I don't even see the actual keywords in here. It just says contact us. So that alone could be a huge opportunity here to be able to contact this business and say, hey, there's you know an opportunity here to increase your leads, increase your conversions by having an actual landing page that talks to the individual searcher, right? Another menu up here of just you know pure distraction. And the numbers are typically best up here at the top on the right. And it should be pretty large, right? This could even be removed because it's just serving no purpose here, right? Because the intention for us is to get people here to fill out their information and get a free quote. So let's go up here and check out their conversion tracking. So all they have here is Google Analytics, which is great, right? But they don't have any conversion tracking. They don't have the actual data here that lets them know that their leads are actually being tracked, just like the Facebook pixel that allows us to track the conversions, right? They're missing that. So they're running ads. And so they could be essentially throwing a lot of money down the drain. And then you as a digital marketing consultant can come in here, obviously, and help them out. So let's go back and let's see if we can find uh, one more. I want to check out another one here. So what you'll notice is that the guys on the first page, right, there's obviously opportunities there because uh, they either are doing it themselves. They don't typically have an agency. Everything's going to the home page. Uh, there's no landing page there. And then the ones on the second, third, fourth, fifth page are obviously, you know, paying money for ads. And so they can also be a viable lead for us because we can talk to them about getting up to the first page and improving their ads, right? Obviously looking also to see if they have the conversion tracking, how their landing page is set up, right? And all of the above. This one here is godeckbuilders.com. There's another one right here, Thornburg Construction. Let's go up to the third page here. Let's see, Home Advisor. Let's go down here kitchen more so these guys are in Bellevue let's check these guys out okay so yeah these guys actually have a decent looking landing page uh, they have a free design consultation here and the layout and the look is perfect I would actually even remove the menu up here and just put this right here in the middle and have this be larger However, other than that, I mean, their landing page looks fantastic, right? It's very nice and easy, great user experience here. Uh, it's not too much stuff going on. And I'm assuming there's gonna be a pop-up box here or, okay, this is also good as well. Um, however, it's most likely going to be better to have this go to just a pop-up box. So whenever this is clicked, a box will come up in the screen, right? 
and they'll be able to put in their information. So, yeah, I mean, this landing page here is great. Whoever designed it obviously knows what they're doing somewhat, right? So these guys probably wouldn't be the best ones to target. Let's see if they have the tracking here. Oh, wow. So they don't even have any tracking. So that in and of itself could be uh, an opportunity here because, you know, we can mention to them that they have a great landing page. You know, everything looks fantastic. However, we didn't find or didn't notice that they had any type of conversion tracking on their actual ad, right? So big, big opportunity there. So these are the top two ways to be able to target these types of businesses, right? The ones that are sending all of the traffic to a homepage where they don't have a landing page. And if they are sending traffic to a landing page, it's most likely not laid out properly. It doesn't provide good user experience, right? And so they're missing out on a ton of opportunities. We want to be able to help them make sure that their tracking is set up properly, their landing page is converting, and there isn't too much stuff going on there, right, on the landing page. So that's going to be it here for this video, and we'll see you on the next one.